let's go. We started late. We were supposed to start early, but I'm fashionably late. But it's okay. The weather is fine. It's not too windy, not too rainy, and it's clear sky. And it's gonna be a two hours walk up, hike up. So yes, I am ready. Let's go. Let's go, Peter Panda team. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, guess who's here? Jet Li is here. That's right, Jet Li. Oh, yeah, Jet Li is here, man. I wish I. If we meet him on the way, we're gonna totally bombast him, and then I don't know, maybe take a picture. But he's here. Let's go. Take one, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Jetly! <laughs> Wait, let's go picture with Jetly. Out of all the places here on this day, at this time, at this hour, he's going back and he he took a picture with us. Guys, done. Let's go. Now I'm more pumped up. This is gonna be a hell of a walk. I'll hike. There you go. So we're hiking up. Halfway, not even halfway. <sighs> yep, we're not even halfway up, guys. Not even halfway up. Yep. <sighs> so tired. Yeah. Oh my god. Such a nice view. Yeah. Right. This is me, guys. This is how steep it looks from not even halfway up. Climbing up, a long way to go. Let's do it. Come on, Kinga. You can do it. Guys, what? we're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. It's very sunny. No wind, but it's okay. It's, the weather is good. The, it's perfect, actually. Really tired, but we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Guys, we're here! Yay! <laughs> I'm really excited and tired, but really excited. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful clip. Oh, look at that waterfall. Woo. We're done. One's been we larger. just uh, offered our prayers mm -hmm. and we're heading back now. Oh, this is the national dress. They want to put that under the national dress. Eyes. We're all sure, wearing this. Wear Everybody's wearing yeah. this. Yeah, I'm a and we're getting. Duro. I'm a Linda. Yeah, and we're getting some holy water from here. It's the holy water. Yeah, they're getting faster, ladies. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> What's happening right now is this is tiger's nest. It's called, in, in our language, it's called the part of Daksang. Daksang means tiger's nest, basically. So what happened here was this, basically this place, this monastery. So it was built during the 8th century and how it happened was Guru Rinpoche. He is a god that we worship to and he was riding on a tigress. The tigress is she was transformed from a human. Her name is Yishi Sogyal and she's a disciple of Guru Rinpoche. They were in Tibet actually. Guru Rinpoche is the first god or like god a person to introduce buddhism in Bhutan and he came here to this place particularly to meditate and he meditated for three years three months three days and three hours and they transformed it this into the monastery and yeah that is where the eight manifestations of Grimbache formed that time we feel really blessed i don't know about them guys do you feel blessed 
Yes, bless. We're heading back now. It's very cold. I feel so blessed, honestly, guys. It's, I really do. I'm so glad that we came at the perfect time. Like, they were about to close, and we were just here, just in time to get our blessings and everything we got. Um, Pinta Panda merchandise. At first, I didn't think anything of it. It's my in-game name, like, you know, it's Pinda Panda. So I thought, um, why not make a merchandise, you know, like start small with a shirt or something. I started off a month before this, I started off designing the logo and I drew a panda and I was like, okay, so it's gaming. So I drew a headset and I designed it and then there was the logo and it was done. Before I came here, uh, about a week, Everything was done so fast, like the shirts were printed out so fast. And I kind of designed my own website as well. It's uh, pindapandaofficial.com. So if I sell it, I wanted the profit to go to the children who are here in Bhutan, like those disabled children. I had kind of helped them before. I don't need a profit. I mean, if I can do something good out of it, I mean, why not, right? I mean, it takes a lot of time. It does. I, I basically don't get much sleep at all, to be honest. But it's something good. And the feeling you get out of it at the end of the day, it's undescribable. I cannot describe it. You have to do it yourself and you have to feel it yourself. Uh, I think she's been good ever since she was born. She has a lot of talents. Uh, she was yeah. Yeah, She taught me how to dance. She, she can dance sing, also. sketch. I remember her walk. Play basketball. She yeah. used to but play the team her. called Mistakes, I guess. <laughs> those who study hard, those who think you don't have to look up to them, you just be creative and be passionate about what you follow. Now, yeah, I took civil engineering as a degree, but I chose gaming. Start, uh, study smart. Study smart, not hard. Study smart. A lot of my friends are so crazy about her, especially the boys. Yeah. <laughs> they asked me to get her signs yeah. and her shirts. Hi! <laughs> I'm the only one who's shouting! But these kids are amazing. They're going back to school. They're walking Ooh. on the road in this cold weather. This is how hardworking these kids are. Just look at them. This, these are the future for our country. Wow, I had the longest hike ever today and what could be better than a warm bath? Now guys, these stones are carried all the way from the riverbed here, heated up and put in the wooden bath which is full of minerals, it's enriched with minerals which I'm gonna just plunge into. Let's go! Since you're you're from Malaysia and you're Malaysian, how do you? This is the first time, right? How do you? Yeah. Do? It's 
Good evening. Do you see all this food here? It's all for me. You're getting none. But they have something. Do you have anything to eat? I mean, I know this is for me, but. They have chicken. They have chicken. Yeah, they have chicken. They have to have it. They are non veg. Exactly. But the rest is all for me. If you want something like this, you better get here to this restaurant. It's called Benna's Restaurant and it's in Bhutan. Yes, exactly. Okay, it smells great. Let's get started, shall we? Chimney soup. I want the dumpling, I want the potato, I want the bread, I want the aludam, I want the rice, please. Thank you. <laughs> See, it's like homemade, it smells so good, it smells so great, and I am hungry. I'm not doing anything, I'm just gonna stay here. My mom's serving me today, and I'm so happy. She never does this. She never does it. <laughs> Thank you, mom. Hey, <laughs> thank you, Mom. <laughs> yeah. She's gotta eat that. Make sure you finish it. Dumpling. What do you do? This is like the. This is. You can say it's the, one of the national dish. It's potato with cheese and chili. Something you can't have outside of Bhutan. We have the chimney soup. Oh, oh, it's really nice. It's like it has sweet and sour taste, but it's really nice. So what I have on my plate is. The national, you can say it's one of the national dish. It's potato with cheese and chili. Yes, something you can't have. That's right, I got that on you. It's a lot of chilies. Yeah, Malaysian stabole la, they cannot siki siki doli ma. And we have dumplings. This is vegetarian, by the way. <laughs> okay, we have rice, fried rice, and there's this bread. And what's stuffed inside? Guess what? Potato, that's right! Because I'm a potato girl from Bhutan all the way. So if you want to try some of these stuffs, you have to come here to Ben's restaurant. It's really great, it smells good, and I've already tasted some. Sorry guys, I, I just couldn't hold myself. I mean, no, no, please, help yourself, it's okay. The chicken is only for you, the rest you can't have it. No, you're not touching anything else other than the, yeah. <laughs> First, it was my grandmother, but now my grandfather, he just came back from down south of Bhutan. He has no idea that I've been here for two whole days. I don't want to tell him, but yeah, he's upstairs right now. So I'm going to sit here and then I just, you know, cover my head with the jacket, like hoodie, and then like, he's going to come in. My aunt, my, yeah, it's, and I'm going to surprise him. They're going to go get him. My family's going to go and get him. It's really pounding. to kind of hide the fact that I was here for two days, two whole days, because he was at the southern Bhutan. He came back home, he was really mad, he was really surprised. And then you can see, he, he 
totally, he, in like a second, his whole mood changed. He was really happy. I need my grandfather. Oh. My life. Yeah, that is shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is shock. He's really surprised and he was like, don't ever do this again. Like seriously, you're giving me a heart attack every now and then. I could have come two days earlier, but you didn't tell me. He's really proud of what I've achieved so far. And um, yeah, this is what I would like to come back home to, to a proud family. So, what I'm doing here is my grandma, whenever I come home, she cooks for me and Mommy, my favorite gochimo? Telekewadachi. Kewadachi, that's right, it's potato with cheese. For me, at least the best potato cheese in the world. And she's making for me some right now. Uh, she has so much love for me that she just can't resist, resist making it for me. So, look at her. She's making it with love. She's cutting the potatoes with love. And she's gonna, yeah, probably hit me if I don't peel this off quickly. I'm very professional at peeling off potatoes. As you can see, I don't even have to look at it. Wow! There you go, mommy. She says yes. She gave me the green signal. She said I'm doing it well. I'm a professional chef. Actually, I was born a professional chef. No, mommy. My temper is wrong now. She agrees. Dum 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 dum. Gonna have potato cheese, which I've been having for the past few days. But my grandma makes the best kewadatsi, aka potato cheese. How goes it, mommy? How goes it? How goes it? Oh, she understood the song. Now it's time for Mummy loves cooking time, loves cooking time. Yes, that's right, cooking time. Da next. Makulu, makhu. Kali makhu. Ana. So we ran out of oil. Basically, um, it's invisible oil. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit. It's enough. Are you mommy? Mm. Okay. Okay, it's enough. Kya maakhu langush? Na, langa maakhu. So what's happening is she's pouring salt. There you go, chili powder, chili flakes, chili flakes. I'm just gonna want. Am chija? Am chena? Kum kache? Now it has to be cooked for a few minutes, let's say, and we just gonna leave it here. So my grandma made all these dishes for me again. Oh, this is chili, red chili, green chili with uh, Bhutanese tomatoes and salt and yeah, just mix it. So this is how you have a family meal. It's dinner, supper for now, but you know, there's nothing better than having a warm cooked dinner by your family and having it with all of them. Yeah, we're just gonna enjoy this. I am definitely gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna treasure it because I don't get this back in Malaysia. So. Normal. Yeah, Normal. No, Appa. It's very extraordinary for me because I don't get this in Malaysia, Appa. But yes, so yeah. Let me get her. Mm. I made this for so good. Most of us prefer to eat with our hands because it adds taste to the food. I don't know, and I feel like my hand understands my mouth too well, so, you know, it's just, you hold it, like a little rice in your fingers. 
push them in and it's like a spoon cannot do that. A spoon can understand your tongue. Well, a hand does, so yeah. It's freezing cold. It was like about two degrees Celsius. She kept mentioning about some kids throwing stones at her. She kept on mentioning about being cold. She said it's very cold and she says she hasn't eaten and she was hungry. Restaurant, he tells me that she hasn't eaten for four days. For four days. I mean, I know she's old, but she deserves better than that. The view, the people, the culture, the feeling itself, it's different here. So you'll see me like to a happy person, like naturally. I want to thank you. It'll never be enough. All I hope and wish for is to do you proud, to keep doing you proud at the end of the day, to have your back as your daughter, as a sister, as your granddaughter, as a niece. No matter what happens, I love you.